try to black out. Okay, we get the Zhuan, we get the Enveloping Mist, and now we get the Shield. Oh my god, that is crazy. So my Life Cocoon went from a 1.3 minute cooldown to a 40, a 39 second, a 39 second cooldown. Overall, this talent tree is incredible. It makes me want to fist weave. And if it, if it makes me want to fist weave, I think you did an insane job. Yo, what's going on, everybody? This is Mystical today. I'm bringing you a similar video to the Master of Harmonies where I went over every spell, animations, kind of their interactions. I'm going to bring you the Conduit of the Celestial. So this is more of like the Fist Weaver tree. This is the Windwalker slash Mistweaver tree. And I'm going to go over all the spells that are in the talent tree for the hero talents and what they do, how they interact with other spells, and just my overall thoughts on what I think about them. All right, like I mentioned, this is mostly the Fist Weaver one. So I would definitely guess that if you were going to fist weave in pvp or pve you're probably going to use condor of the celestials it's just made for fist weaving so let's just start with the spell that you get right when you level so celestial of conduit this is a one and a half minute cooldown and what it does is the august celestials empower you causing you to radiate this says 1.3 million healing onto five injured allies and then 261,000 nature damage onto enemies in the 20 yards over 3.2 seconds split evenly among them Healing and damage is increased by 6% per target up to 30%. So this is really good for Mythic Plus and rating because you're going to get full value out of that that, bu that buff that it gives. So, you know, in Mythic Plus, you have five people. Rage, you obviously have more than five people. So you're going to get that full 30% buff. In PvP, you're not going to. You're just... I mean, in RBGs, you will. I mean, that's pretty good. But not in twos and threes. And then you may move while channeling, but casting other spells or damage spells cancels this effect. So... I'll show you what this animation looks like. The only thing I've tested a few times is it hits targets that aren't in combat. So I don't know if they're going to make it like a smart damage or heal where it doesn't hit people or anything. But there is something I do want to test real quick. I'm just going to in-cap this and I want to see if it breaks it because this thing, the range on this spell is massive. So it's this right here, Celestial Conduits. Oh, it doesn't actually break. Oh, no, it does break the in-cap. Okay, so it does break CC. That's what I kind of wanted to know. Someone teamed me. Oh, um, yeah, so it does break crowd control and then you can just do damage and it does a lot of healing and remember you cannot use another spell while cat channeling that otherwise it's going to cancel it uh, immediately, but it did break my in cap and it does hit targets that aren't in combat so I don't know if they plan on changing that or maybe it's something I'm doing wrong, but that's just what I noticed the first time I used it and I'll just go straight across each row. So the next one is temple training. It's kind of boring. The healing of enveloping mist and vivify is increased by 10%. You're not going to use it. I don't think uh, Enveloping Mist and Vivify really do too much while you're fist weaving. Enveloping Mist does a little bit. Vivify, not a, not at all. This one's probably what you're going to use is Shuen's Guidance. So Teaching of the Monastery has a 15% chance to refund a charge when consumed. And the damage of Tiger Palm is increased by 30%. So that's just good. So Ancients of the Teachings, uh, for those who don't know, is this right here. Or Teaching of the Monastery. Uh, Tiger Palm causes your next Blackout Kick to strike an additional time. Stacking up to four times. And then it gives Blackout Kick an extra chance, 15 chance to reset the remaining cooldown on Rising Sun Kick. So you always want a Rising Sun Kick first. And then it, these stacks have a chance to recharge or to uh, refresh. So I'm going to Tiger Palm. And I do get one charge without having to use Tiger Palm again, which is wild. Yeah, this is a really, really good talent. I mean, it's just going to let you do more damage. That's pretty much it. That's It's perfect. I don't think you're ever going to run Temple Training. Courage of the White Tiger. So Tiger Palm and Vivify have a 15% chance to cause Zhuen to claw a nearby enemy for physical damage, healing a nearby ally for 200% of the damage done. Chances increase while invoke Yulon and uh, the Jade Serpent or invoke Chiji, the Red Crane is active. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so we can get Zhuen. Let's see if we can... I, I feel like I just summoned him, but maybe not. If not, I'll use my I'll use my uh, Yulon. I don't see Zhuen out yet. So let me, let me Chiji. Oh, I just saw Zhuen. And let me see if I can get Juwen out. Maybe not. I think I just saw him, so might, there might be an internal cooldown. But that is really cool. Oh, there he is. Nope, that's him. So he just he just pokes his, he just pokes out and does damage, and then someone gets healed for two hundred percent of damage done. So it's just more passive healing essentially, um, especially when you have Chi G or Yulon up. It, I do like that they included Cast a Mistweaver in this tree. It's not going to do too much, but it's pretty cool that we have the option of potentially doing damage as a Cast a Mistweaver. It's kind of cool. But yeah, so you have a chance to just proc Shwen and it does damage. And then you have an increased chance when you have Chi G or Yulon up. So we have Restore Balance, gain refreshing Jade Wind while Chi G the Red Crane or Yulon 
the Jade Serpent is active. I feel like this is also good for Casimus Weaver for raiding. I know that raiding you have like you cast and then you also fist weave at the same time. And the refreshing Jade Wind's duration is increased by 15 seconds. Do we? Am I crazy? Refreshing Jade. Where is refreshing Jade Wind in the tree? Oh, okay. I've never taken this because I feel like it's just bad. So it's a 36 second cooldown right now. And up to six hours and ten yards for twelve seconds, and this increases the duration by fifteen. So theoretically, theoretically, if you're raiding, this is the only time I would take. Maybe I would take Yulon's knowledge. Is if you're raiding in, it's a really tight room and everyone's stacked. You could essentially almost have a hundred percent uptime on refreshing Jade Wind. For the mana cost, it might be worth it. Seems kind of solid, but I feel like for the most part, you're just gonna go restore balance again, more passive healing. Especially if you're not going to take... I'm pretty sure... Let's test it. I don't have the talent right now. And this talent makes it so you gain Refreshing Jade Wind while Chi-G or Yulon is active. So if I don't take the talent, do I get it? Yeah. Okay. No. So if you don't take the talent, you still get the Refreshing Jade Wind while chi is up. Which is really nice. That's, that's really, really good. I think Restore Balance is going to be the go-to talent. Again, if you raid and the room is small and a lot of people are stacked, maybe Yulon's knowledge is worth it just before the 100% uptime. But you also lose a talent point that you might need, you know, so it's up to you. Heart of the Jade Servant. Consuming 16 stacks. Oh, they changed this. Okay, so this used to be incredibly overpowered. It used to be consuming 8 stacks of Shailun's Gift. Reduce the cooldown of your spells by 100% for 8 seconds. So they change it. So consuming 16 stacks of Shailun's Gift causes Yulon to decrease the cooldown time of Renewing Mist. Rising Sun Kick, Life Cocoon, and Thunder Focus by 75% for 8 seconds. Okay. All right. I have five stacks of Shailun's Gift right now. Let's see if I maybe need to target myself. Let's see. Okay. There we go. So we get a buff. Heart of the Jade Serpent, Gathering Yulon's Energy. So we need to get to 16 stacks. And let, I'll make sure that when we get to those stacks, I am using the cooldown on things just so people can see what it looks like. I'm going to use it on myself here. All right. There we go. So there it is. Heart of the Jade Serpent. And all of my cooldowns get reduced by 75%. Your life cocoon. Wow. Okay. That's pretty good. I, I think it's buggy how these stacks are getting counted right now, but it does it is pretty good. I think you are gonna want to run Veil of Pride though. I think that's a really uh really good talent that you're gonna want to play. All right, next up we have strength of the black ox. So after Juan assists you, so this one right here, this proc, Courage of the White Tiger. After Juan assists you, your next envelop mist cast time is reduced by 50%. And causes Nauza to grant an absorption shield to five newer allies for 5% of your max health. Oh, okay, that's cool. So we're just going to do damage here. Let's do a little Vivify, see if we get Xuen. Nope, no Xuen yet. Let's see if we can get him the proc. We can, oh, there's the proc, and there's the, yeah, there's the proc right there. So your next enveloping mist. Oh, come on now. Cast time is reduced by 50% and causes, and then I got a shield, right? Because you and. Grants an absorption shield. So I need to use this enveloping mist. And then I get an absorption shield. Oh, wow. Okay, so that's really cool. I like how that interacts with each other. And then you get the increased chance for Zhuan during Chi-Gi. So you Chi-Gi, right? And then you try to black out. Okay, we get the Zhuan. We get the enveloping mist. And now we get the shield. Oh, my God. That is crazy. Okay. I really like this talent a lot. Again, more passive healing. And you just, you're just going to get enveloping mist after you get the Zhuan from doing your damage and using Vivify and Tiger Palm. And then you can put a shield on people for 5% of your max health, which again, as the expansion goes on, it's only going to get stronger. Uh, so this is this is a really nice talent. I like that these kind of work together. I like that a lot. Fight, Flight of the Red Crane. Refreshing Jade Wind and Spinning Crane Quick have a chance to cause chi to quickly dash to 5 allies, healing each target for X amount. So they really want Refreshing Jade Wind to be a thing. Okay, so let me spec into Refreshing Jade Wind and see if it's... it's I don't... I, someone let me know. Some of the, I haven't used Refreshing Jade Wind since Legion on like some of the boss fights, like the small rooms, but let me know if it's good. I have not used it. So let's see. Refreshing Jade Wind, Spin Crack Kick. All right, let's put Refreshing Jade Wind on our bar and <clears throat> see if we can spin spin a win here, get a little Chi-Gi. Anyone? Any chi -Gis? No, there ain't no chi -Gis. Maybe it's because I don't have a lot of people in my group. Maybe Maybe that's why. I don't see a proc. I could also be blind. 
But I don't see any Chigis going out here. So, yeah, I don't know. I think this is just a low proc chance, which is a little unfortunate. It's more passive healing, which is nice. Next, we have Nyuza's Protection. So, Fortifying Rue grants you Absorption Shield for 25% of your max health. That's wild. You heal for 10% of your max health instantly when you activate Celestial Conduit and receive 15% less damage for its duration. The effect lingers for 8 seconds. Nah. Nah, I, I actually think this, the uh, Nyuza's protection is way better because the conduit, the Celestial Conduit is a minute and a half cooldown. And so is Fort Brew if you're going to go with the uh, exped Expeditious Fortification. So you can just get a minute and a half Fort Brew and then you're going to just, it, it's just better. I feel like, I, I think this is just a better ability. So let's see. I haven't seen a shield since uh, Shadowlands. So we Fort Brew and yeah, we get a shield for 92,506 damage. Damn, I like that a lot. I like that a lot. It's just making Fort Brew better, which is nice. And maybe maybe there's some chances where Jade Sanctuary is good. But, the, I mean, the 10% heal is good and 15% less damage. But it's still, I mean, Fort Brew is 20% less damage and 20% more health. And you get a shield. So I think just in every single way, Fort Brew is better. GG Swiftness. So your movement speed is increased by 25% during Celestial Conduit. And for three seconds after being assisted by a Celestial. Oh, wow. Okay. So when they say by a Celestial, I think what they mean is by this, by Juan, by Nyuza, and then by Chiji here. So we have all three Celestials here. Let's see that actually. And then movement speed is increased by so Celestial Conduit. I can just move. Look at that. I'm just moving on a cloud. That's cool. Oh, and then we proct a, we proct a Juan there, right? So let's see if we can proc something. Um, just so we can see if we get the movement speed. We need a Zhuen or a Nyuza. Well, actually, we need Zhuen, right? There's a Zhuen. Oh, there it is right there. It's 25% movement speed. Wow. And then if we use this envelopment mist, do we get the buff too? We do. Okay. That's cool. So what just happened is I proc'd a Zhuen from Courage of the White Tiger, which gives me 25% movement speed from Chiji Swiftness. And then the buff from Strength of the Black Ox from the Zhuen, I use the Enveloping Mist, and then that also gives you the 25% movement speed. Wow. I wonder if there's a way to just proc the Chi-Gi. Oh, did I, I must have proc the Chi-Gi because I got Chi-Gi Swiftness, and I didn't see Zhuen. Okay. You're just going to have a ton of movement speed. Is what, what I'm looking at here. I really like this a lot. Just more movement speed. It's just more movement speed. A lot of targets aren't going to be able to run away from you in PvP. PvE, you're just going to be zooming around <laughs> like boss rooms and from trash pack to trash pack. So I think that's a lot of fun. I think that's like the monk fantasy, right? It's just like zooming around. And then you also have like the double jump, right? The, the swiftness. So uh, it's just gonna be a lot of mobility. I'm very excited for it. All right, so now we have inner compass. So you switch between alignments after an August celestial assist you, increasing a corresponding secondary stat. Okay, so crane stance is haste, tiger stance is crit, ox stance is verse, serpent stance is mastery. Oh, okay, so I'm in Ox Stance right now. I have Versatility. That's pretty cool. Let me see. So if I, let's just say I proc, so if I proc a Celestial, this will change, is what I'm understanding. Let me see. Tiger Palm, Tiger Palm. I should proc a Zhuen soon. All right, so we should switch now. We should switch. Yeah, so now we're in Tiger Stance because Zhuen just spawned. So if I use this Enveloping Mist, this will change from a different stance. Yes, so I have Ox Dance. Oh, is it RNG? I think it's RNG. I thought it would uh, rotate. I thought it would rotate similar to um, the Shao House Lessons, but it doesn't seem like it rotates. It looks like it's RNG because I just went from Ox to what? Shwen to Ox. And now I have, oh, Tiger Stance. Now I have Tiger Stance again. Can I envelop a mist and I get Ox again? Which stance do I have? Oh, no, no, no. I have Crane Stance. No, no, you just, it's just RNG. Okay, I just wanted to know that. Interesting. That's cool. So you just get a passive stat boost based on nothing. You just proc a, uh, a Celestial and you get a stat bonus, which is kind of neat. And then August Dynasty. Casting Jade Fire Stomp increases the damage or healing of your next Rising Sun Kick. Oh, okay. Well, we're just going to play this one instead. This increases the damage of your next Rising Sun Kick by 30% or Vivify by 50%. This effect can only activate once every 8 seconds. Yeah, I think we're just going to play this one. This is like too much. This is too much damage, right? So we're going to Use our Jade Fire Stomp, and we do get a buff. So the damage of your next Rising Sun Kick increased by 30%, or the healing of your next Vivify increased by 50%. So obviously we want the Rising Sun Kick. Boom. 51k. Um, 51k Rising Sun Kick there, which of course is insane. 
And then Rising Sun Kick now, 38k. Yep, that makes sense. So then we, we use our Jade Fire Stomp, and we get the buff. So that's, yeah, just more passive damage here. Um, making sure that you just, you know, eight second cooldown on that. So just keep that in mind. And then we get the final, the final talent. Unity within. So Celestial Conduit can be recast once during its duration to call upon all the August Celestials to assist you at 200% effectiveness. Unity within is automatically cast once Celestial Conduit ends, if not used before expiration. Okay. Uh, that's, that's kind of weird. I'm not going to lie. That's a little... I don't... Okay, so in my mind, what I'm thinking is what's the point of reactivating Celestial Conduit if it's just going to get recast at the end anyway, right? So if I cast Celestial Conduit, all of them should... All of the Celestials should spawn right now. I should see a Zhuen. Yep, and I see a Chiji. Yep, and I should just see them all. I get the shield and I get this. Okay. Hmm. That's really good though for with the interaction with Jade Serpent though. That's really good, right? So you could just use all your cooldowns and then you can use your Celestial Conduit and it decrease the cooldown of all your spells, which is so good, which is it's so good. All right, there's one last thing I want to test genuinely because I'm having so much fun with this tree is I want to see the interaction between Heart of the Jade Serpent when I use it right before a conduit or a celestial conduit. So I'm going to put Life Cocoon on cooldown. I'm going to. Let me see. Let me get rid of these buffs. I just want to see the buffs. Let me see. So I'm going to use Jalen's Gift and I get the buff, right? And then I'm going to use this again. And I'm going to see what happens to this buff. It gets refreshed. So my Life Cocoon went from a 1.3 minute cooldown to a 40 a 39 second a 39 second cooldown that is wild you do lose that on a few seconds though with that buff okay that's good to know but yeah this this overall this tree is amazing i i have the only complaint i have this tree is this last one and that's only because it's kind of weird that it automatically uses all the celestials at the end so what's the point of even having the choice to maybe there's gonna be situations where you're gonna want to use it in the middle of you know the channel which is I'm sure it's rare, but maybe it'll happen. But that's the only thing about this talent tree that is weird. Everything else, it just feels like everything just flows together. All the Celestials. You have Zhuen. Yeah, I pronounced the same wrong, but it's Nyozu. And then you have Yulon. And then you have Chiji. And on top of that, you have more damage from your August Dynasty. And you also have more proc chances from Zhuen's Guidance. More survivability from Nyozu's protection. I don't know what's going on with the refreshing Jade Wind over here. It's kind of like, I don't know, a little weird. But overall, this talent tree is incredible. It makes me want to fist weave. And if it, if it makes me want to fist weave, I think you did an insane job. So that is it for me. This tree is amazing. If you have any questions at all, if you want to see anything, please let me know. I'm more than happy to answer any questions, test anything on alpha. And that is it for me. Hope everyone has a fantastic rest day. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you later.